Hello, welcome back to breakfast. It's coming up to 25 past eight. Talking to your boss about parental leave policies can be tricky. Crayon founder Stephanie Powell is on a mission to encourage these conversations and has announced the country's first parental leave register. Bill Thompson's company, Aura, was one of the first to sign up last week and over 100 businesses have already done so. But more are needed. More than a quarter. Well, thank you both so much for being with us this morning. Stephanie, let's talk about this register. So, um... <clears throat> Last week, um, basically, you've, it's, it's been put out there. So tell me about the register itself and what it does and what you hope that it will do. Kia ora and thank you for having us. So we're building the most comprehensive database of verified employer parental leave policies in the country. Eight out of ten of us become parents. So if you're watching at home, parental leave will probably become relevant to you at some point. In New Zealand, you have to be at an employer for at least 12 months to be eligible for the full parental leave entitlement from the government. So this is information that you want to know beforehand. And I don't know about you, Jenny Wave, but when I had my daughter three and a half years ago, it was only when I fell pregnant that I even looked into parental leave and discovered this. Yeah, no, I didn't. I had my boy six years ago, and it wasn't even something that I... I looked at, I just kind of muddled my way through things. So how did this all start? Like, wh why was it important for you to start this register? And it's not public as yet, you're still collecting data, but why was it important for you to start this? So at Crayon, we're on a mission to reduce financial stress for parents. And for many people, that starts on parental leave. That's the first time you often you take an income hit, your expenses go up, and you really need to look at how your family is managing your money. So having this information is really critical. And look, I've got two little ones at home and I'm in my mid-30s. And if I were in an interview process, I would hesitate to ask an employer what their parental leave policy is. And in fact, most employers don't make it publicly available, which is what really motivated me to start the register. What had motivated you, Phil, to sign up to this? Well, we recently actually shared our um, new parental policy uh, online, but what we found talking to Stephanie was that we, uh, you know, while we were making that policy, it was hard to find out information. So for prospective employers, uh, you know, we were looking around and talking through networks of what everyone else was doing. Uh, and then if you're an employee, to Stephanie's point, it's really hard to actually ask that question. So we thought just make it really easy to understand what the policy is, but also what are the other benefits that surround that to help families uh, and, and new parents um, uh, while they're at work. In terms of feedback, because how many staff have you got? We've got 115 globally. Yeah, so they're obviously aware that this is happening within the company itself. Have you had any feedback? It's really positive. Um, yeah. to, to, to Stephanie's point, like, let's just talk about these things because yeah. most people don't know about it. Um, and again, there's some, um, um, you know, New Zealand, you know, we're, we're lucky in a way that we, the government does support us, but in other countries, there's not that same support. Uh, so I think just sharing what companies are doing uh, and at different sizes and stages as well, I think that's really important uh, to understand. Um, what you can what you can get um, when you're particularly when you're joining a new company. Hmm. Stephanie, I, I know this has just kind of been networking, right? You've just kind of thrown yes. it out there. Nothing has been published as such. So, what has that response been from those who've you connected with, those businesses you've connected with? It's been overwhelmingly positive. I think to Phil's point, people want to make, for the most part, this data available, but they haven't had an avenue to do so. Some people have announced it on perhaps LinkedIn or their company yeah. website, but there's no centralised source. So that's what you want to ultimately create, right? Absolutely. So yeah. that employees have the information to make informed choices for their families. Employers have more inputs when they go to review their parental leave policies. And frankly, change makers have the benchmarks they need to move the conversation forward. Phil, so we were talking about this before we came on air in terms of the information sharing that goes on when you have something like this, because you know some companies will choose not to do it, not to, to publish uh, anything publicly. But actually, for a lot of companies also, they're trying to figure stuff out, right? So how important is that information sharing? It's super important. I think, you know, and I just want to encourage other people to join up as well because regardless of what your policy is, if it's the, the bare minimum versus um, the gold-plated, um, just at least look at what everyone else is doing as well. And, you know, rising tide lifts all boats. And it's not just about time off. Um, you know, that's probably one of the key things that everyone looks at. Yeah. But it's about the, the benefits um, for, uh, you know, the, the mother and, and the, birth, the birthing parent, but also for the whole family. You know, we actually do things other than the time off. Uh, you know, we have eight weeks worth of uh food um, delivery. Um, so, you know, when you've got a newborn, uh, it's super hard to actually be cooking, um, regardless of if you're the uh, the birth parent or the non-birth parent. Uh, you know, I've got I've yeah. got three kids under three, uh, and my wife, you know, <laughs> she, she, she does the, the mahi, so a massive shout out to, to Anna for that. Uh, 
but it is all those things. It's the flexibility around work as well because you know you, you want to go to the um, kids you know, prize giving or Christmas show uh, or take them swimming. Yeah. Um, it's those things that if you can Simple build that into are. to the employee experience, uh, it's going to be great for everyone. Stephanie, if there are businesses who are keen uh, to join up, then how do they do that? Via our website, gocrayon.com. Beautiful. Yeah. Um, thank you both so much. Thank you for doing this in the first instance and having a hub where all that information is available will eventually be available. Um, and good luck. Mate. Thanks very much. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much for having us. <laughs> That's about all I can say to you, Phil, is good luck. Um, but appreciate you both this morning. All right. Uh, it has just gone 8.30. Here is uh, Indira with the latest uh, news.